has reflected the paradigm shift in the design of BMTF 4 and 5. This spread of some projects among considerably more communities has reflected the par paradigm shift and it is now the recognition that small projects that people themselves identify and participate in all aspects of implementation play an important role in the well-being of communities and the ownership by the stakeholders and beneficiaries through community involvement from its earliest stages and they contribute greatly to successful implementation. Given the anticipated large number of such small projects, maximum costs now range from 20,000 US to 25,000 US. Arrangements were put in place to expedite approval and to have that approval given in local country once the sub-projects meet agreed selection criteria. The program also provides assistance to communities through the Community Liaison Officer, partly funded by CDB, to analyze and prioritize their needs and prepare their submissions to the project steering committees for their consideration. In an effort to, pro to promote sustainability, funds are also being provided for skills training activities so that persons can obtain skills which can potentially increase their access to jobs and increase their incomes on a more permanent basis. The fifth program, which is now being launched in 10 of our board member countries, will provide approximately US $69 million. That is approximately 56 million US from CDB, comprising 32 million US from our Special Development Fund 5, and approximately 24 million or Canadian 38 million added by the Government of Canada, and of course approximately 13 million US in counterpart funds from the 10 participating governments. In comparison, the Just Ended Ford program provided just under half, uh, that is about 27.6 million, with 19.6 million from CDB, including 8 million from the governments. To give you an update of the ATF 5, approvals up to last week, we had approved 115 BNTF 5 sub projects costing more than 7.2 million US for a CDB CEDA grant funding contribution of more than 5.7 million for implementation in seven of the 10 BMCs. And we understand that there's another 181 sub projects costing approximately 3 million or more, which are in various stages of preparation in the member countries, including six sub-projects from St. Kitts and Nevis, which was submitted to CDB a few weeks ago and is, and is now being appraised by CDB staff. We understand that there's an additional amount of sub-projects which you are preparing, which has not been submitted to CDB as yet. And we absolutely look forward to receiving these as early as possible so that we can approve them and we can get on with implementation. On the BNTF 5, CDB and CEDA are providing initial allocations of approximately 2 million, including the cost of consultant services to St. Kitts and Nevis. There is also a government counterpart contribution of approximately 700,000 US dollars for a total BNTF 5 allocation to St. Kitts and Nevis of approximately 2.7 million US. However, after the midterm evaluation expected in 2006, there would be an additional allocation to St. Kitts and Nevis from an amount of approximately 8.2 million US, which had been set aside for incentive bonus awards to be based on the, for on the performance of BNTF 5 in St. Kitts and in Nevis and the other nine participating member countries. 
the BHFI grant will provide the means for direct delivery of basic public services to disadvantaged communities through an implementation me methodology that allows for a more socially inclusive development process that should promote increased pride and ownership leading to better maintenance of community assets. The project activities will include the provision of water systems, school and health facilities, including programs for HIV AIDS, basic market infrastructure, daycare centers, <coughs> rural roads, drains and footpaths, and previously mentioned skills training opportunities. It is also necessary to recognize that since the second BNTF program, the participating countries have been making contributions from their own resources to the sub-projects. This contribution has varied over time and has been reduced from the previous 39% in the fourth program to the current 20% of the cost of sub-projects and a significant portion of administrative costs associated with implementation. This, we feel, is a very strong indication of government's commitment to the program and one much appreciated by CDB and our donors. It may sound like a little, but not when put in the context of the very trying times which all of our member countries are experiencing. And especially in the case of St. Kitts and Nevis, with the after effects of several major hurricanes in the last decade and the decline in tourism after September 2001. I must also acknowledge and express our deep appreciation for the significant contribution of Canadian $38 million made by the Government of Canada to the program. Canada was a founding member of the CDB and is one of the more active development partners of this region. This collaboration, one of several with CDB, recognizes the effectiveness of the BNGF program and the success we have achieved over the years in meeting our targets and even exceeding them. UK's DFID has also played a significant role in assisting us with addressing capacity building for implementation of the BNGF 5 and the preparation of the Poverty Reduction Action Plan of all of the participating member governments. Successful implementation of the program